Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. Hashtag my global family. This is Drea Veda, Caddy Walking in this world, a real life Eslato Pueblo superhero, proud to spirit indigenous warrior. It's Monday, March 18th, family. Are you ready for a brand new week filled with opportunities? This coyote can't wait. I am so excited to have you with us today. We are going to be working on our mind, bodies, and spirits. <laughs> Welcome, family. This is Indigenous Warrior Yoga with Dre. I am your host, Dre Aveda, coyote walking in this world, real life Esleta Pueblo superhero. I am a two-spirit Indigenous warrior family on a mission from my ancestors to transform this world. I do this Facebook Live here every Monday around 9.30 a.m. <laughs> Sorry, family. I am always on Red's time. Why Indigenous Warrior Yoga? Why not, family? Indigenous people do yoga too. Anyone can learn. Don't forget, family, I am not a yoga instructor, but rather I'm sharing my daily workout routine with you. I have kept off an 110 pounds since 2017. I was dying from diabetes, family, at age 35. Now, at soon to be 43, next week's my birthday, family, I am role modeling what's possible. Don't forget, family, don't do anything that hurts. Make sure you see a doctor or medical professional before changing anything in, you know, drastic in your diet and your workout routine. We want to make sure you stay safe. Don't forget, family, love yourself. Your health matters, and we can literally make change at any age. That's a picture of me, family, around 2015. But check out this warrior now. <laughs> Love it, love it. Those are my amazing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu sisters from Gracie Bada. I am honored and proud and work very hard to be a blue belt with one stripe at Gracie Bada family. Last year, I ranked 22 out of 103 amazing warrior women over the age of 30. So family, I'm also a PhD candidate, finishing my PhD at University of New Mexico and a vlogger with over 32,000 followers. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, think of sponsoring us on PayPal, andrea.abeta at gmail.com. Follow us on social family and drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm happy to announce this coyote has some upcoming projects. I am going to have not one, but two TV shows coming out right here on Public Access in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Shout out to my amazing business partner and brother from another mother, Greg Abernathy. He is a behavioral health therapist family, and I am a life coach. And between the two of us, we can either be your professional civil rights advocate team, if you're taking on a university or institution where you work. We also offer life coaching and therapy services, family. So the two of us are going to be doing a 90 minute show talking about medical marijuana, behavioral health, trauma, and the amazing curriculum that he has devised. Both of us are a neurodiverse family. We walk through this world slightly differently, but I can't wait for a brand new show. The other thing, family, is our podcast, Eating, Drinking, and Smoking with Neil and Dre, is moving from our living room couch to Studio 519. We have rebranded, family. Look out for Resilient NM, family. Yeah, yeah. In honor of this coyote's origins, I was born and raised on the Res family and lived there until I was 25 years old. Then I moved to the South Valley of Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is literally five minutes from my res, where my family still resides. So family, Resilient New Mexico is all going to be about a local show. We are going to be interviewing game changers, artists, business owners, politicians, educators, and bring you all of the amazing stuff that is happening here in New Mexico. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> I can't wait, family. TV show. Watch out, world. This coyote is going to be president of the United States by the time I'm 63. <laughs> Taking over the internet one day at a time. Thank you so much for sharing, um, allowing me to share my announcements with you, family. But let's get started. Today, it's all about brand new opportunities. So family, how are you going to take the challenges of this week and make them your own? How are you going to progress in your life, in your career, um, in your family life? Maybe you have some health goals that you're trying to tackle. 
Whatever it is, family, you totally got this. I believe in you and you have resources to make sure you're successful. I'm always telling my family, you got to plot world domination. <laughs> doesn't happen overnight family so make your dreams come true by plotting for them and working towards them every single day <laughs> yeah yeah guess who's back up family i'm coming out of depression um yes i am neurodiverse and i have adhd ptsd i'm a survivor of trauma including rape and molestation as ramification of any boarding schools uh, police brutality in 2008 as well as a white male academic predator who was sleeping with students in 2017, which is how I became a civil rights activist family. <laughs> it always starts at home. So family, let's go ahead and get started. I'm putting 15 minutes on the clock. Let's get settled in. So we're gonna start our chair yoga. Get scared, let's get started. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait, right? All right, putting the timer on, Duh! It's official, let's get started. <laughs> La 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 la. Don't forget, family, to check the area around you. We will be moving our arms and legs, so make sure that your seat is in a stable position. Um, you're not going to roll around. You are going to not also, just checking my area, <laughs> hit anything by accident. Let's do this, family. Okay. Pause on your thighs. We are sitting up as much as we can, family. But if you can't sit up, that's okay. We're doing what is possible, not what hurts. Starting with my favorite family, it is our neck rotations. We're going to do neck circles going to the right, starting out small and getting bigger as we go along. Ready? Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> love it, family, love it. Come back to center. Now we're going to go to the other side. Are you ready? Let's go. One, starting small, getting bigger, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, love it, family. Come back to center. Now we're going to do our nose. Okay, family? No to anxiety. No to depression, which is keeping me in my house, family. No to fear. No to hate. No to doubt. Come back to center, family. We're going to do our yeses. Yes to love, yes to hope, yes to motivation, yes to our success. I love it, family. Yes, you are beautiful and handsome. Yes, you are worthy of love. Yes, you are worthy of dignity. Yes, you are worthy of respect. Come back to center, family. Taking your right paw, let's place it gently on your hip. Bring your left arm up. We're going to gently look to the sky. Nice, nice, family. Just gently stretch, just looking forward. We're staying here for five, four, three, two, one, come forward and look down, family. Holding it again for five, four, three, two. And then the one, come back, bring it all the way back to your hip. <laughs> all right, family. We're going to go to the other side, bringing us over to the right. Oh, excuse me, over to the left with your right hand. We are gently looking up to the sky for five. Four, 
three, two, and one. Family, we're gonna look forward and over. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back to center, family. Love it, love it, love it. Take your right hand, gently place it on your left knee. Bring your left hand and place it on the back of the chair. We're doing a slight gentle twist, family. For five, four, three, two, release on the one, come back to center, family. Take your left paw, put it on your right thigh, and your right hand gently rests on the back of your chair. Again, a gentle twist, and don't forget to breathe, family. For five, four, three, two, and then release on the one, family. I love it, I love it. Hands overhead, legs wide. We are gonna do a forward fold, family. So we are bending at the waist, coming all the way forward. Our hands are gonna support us when we get to the ground. If you cannot touch the ground, do not worry, family. It is okay, and just do what feels comfortable. If you can touch the ground, family, place both your paws gently on the ground. We're going to do another modified twist. Placing your right hand down in the center and supporting. You're going to pull up your left. Pull up your left, family, and look up for a gentle twist. And we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, and then the one, family. Bring it back down to center, planting your left hand. You're going to come up towards the right. Yes, look up, look up, family. <laughs> For five, four, three, two, and then the one. Bring your hands back down, family. Bring your hands back down. You are going to use your core muscles, family, to pull yourself back up. So again, big beach ball overhead, pulling yourself back up. Bring your fingers down. <laughs> Yes, you guys are doing so good. So proud of us. Okay, family, we are going to go ahead and do a little stretch. Again, don't do anything that hurts. Bringing your right foot up, you are going to gently rest it on the top of your left knee. Once again, coming over, big beach ball overhead. We're gonna forward fold. Ah, uh, I'm not super flexible today, family. So this is about as far as I can go. Go as far as you can without letting anything hurt. We're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, and the one. Come back up overhead, run your fingers down. <laughs> Go ahead and replace it, family, and put your left foot on your right. Rest your left foot on top of your right knee. Again, arms overhead, family. Forward fold. <laughs> Again, only go as far as you can. Go ahead and let your arms rest and hang down. We're going to hang out here for five, four, three, two. And then the one family, come back up, come back up. Rain your fingers down and gently replace your leg back on the ground. All right, family. We are going to do our ankle rotations. So coming over to our left, we're gonna make a little sling for our leg. Gently hold it, and you're going to circle your ankle to the left. Ready, family? We're gonna do 10 times in either direction. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Love it. Go to the right, family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Love it. Now we're going to do um, flexes, family. So up, down. Ooh, can you hear my ankle? It's bobbing. Up and down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Love it, family. I want you to change your grasp on your leg from underneath 
to front and gently squeeze it in. Squeeze it in a little bit, only as far as you can go, family. Don't do anything that hurts. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release it and gently place it on the floor, family. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> All right, so on this side, family, again, we are making a little sling while still trying to sit up when we can, okay? Working on that core muscle. Ooh, pull those abs in, family, to give you a straight back. All right, so we have a sling for our right leg, family. We're gonna go back to ankle rotations to the left first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going back to the right, family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Love it, family. Now we're doing our flexes. So up and down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Love it. Gently place your foot back on the ground, family. Oh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> Change your grip, family, from underneath your thigh to your knee and gently pull it in as much as you can handle. Don't do anything that hurts. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, and the one. Gently replace back on the ground, family. If you have bad knees and bad ankles like this coyote, I broke my ankle probably around 2005. And I don't know, family, I just have old knees. <laughs> so I need to really stretch them, especially because of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So if I'm laying on the floor, I will lay on my back, lift up my knees, and then do circles with my legs. But because we're doing a modified version of the chair, we're gonna do the same exercise, but we're gonna give ourselves some extra support. So with your left thigh, family, go ahead and lift it up. We're gonna have a little sling for it again but you're going to rotate from the knee to make a circle. So one, two, I think we got it, family. So let's see if we can do 10 of these bad boys to the left. One, two, three, you can start out small and get bigger if you want. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely. Come back to center. Let's go in the opposite direction, family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Love it, family. Gently place back on the ground. So again, what are we doing is we are trying to stretch out our knee, family, from a um, adjusted and supported position. So holding up your right leg, family, giving it a little sling, we are going to do rotations to the left. One, two, three, four, good job, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely family. Let's go ahead and go to the right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely. Go ahead and place both legs gently on the ground. All right, family, come out arms wide. <laughs> We're gonna do our famous gym stretch. So bring your left arm in, holding it and supporting with your right. And let's go ahead and hold it here for five, four, three, two, and release on the one. Come back out wide, family. We're gonna do the right side now. Bring that bad boy over <laughs> and hold it for five, four, three, two, and then the one, family. Go ahead and open and release. Gently put your paws on your, your legs, family. 
we are going to do a version of cat cow. Okay, so let's see if you can see. So, hands on your, your thighs. So a cat, right? A cat is going to be rounding in your spine, going forward, bringing everything in. But you're being a cat, right? Now a cow, I'm trying to bring on my cow. <laughs> cow family. I puff up my stomach, I look up, I'm moving, moo. <laughs> And then bring it all in, family. Bring it all in. Bring it all in. And then exhale. <sighs> puff it all up. Puff it all up. And be a cow. Moo. <laughs> I did bring it in for a cat. You were a scaredy cat. You were pulling up your back. Your fur is all puffed up. Scaredy cat. And then release. Ooh, cow. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, Vanny, I cracked myself up. All right, do one more. Do what feels good. Ah, all right, let's come back to center, family. Really quickly, we are running out of time. Come back. We're going to do some tiny little arm rotations. One, two, three. Let's get bigger. Four, <laughs> five. Do you hear my shoulder? Oh my gosh. Six, huge, seven, don't run into anything, eight, nine, and ten, yeah, yeah, come back to center family, let's go backwards, starting out small, getting bigger as we go, one, two, three, four, five, woo, huge, oops, six, seven, be careful what's around you family, Eight, nine, and ten. Glorious family. Go ahead and tilt your neck back and forth. Tick tock it. Boop. One, two, three, four, five. Front and back. One, two, three, four, five. I love it. I love it, family. I would like for you to take one more minute. I'm going to put one more minute on the clock, family. One more minute, one more minute. This is my favorite minute, family. Massage time. <laughs> Take your fingers, start at your temples, and make gentle circles. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, family, move your fingertips up towards your skull, to the top of your head. I like to make a little line with my fingers and press down to the top of my skull. I work my way to the back of my head, gently applying pressure, family. We carry a lot of stress with us. There's a lot going on. There's paying bills. There's working out. There's meeting deadlines at the office. There's a lot of family obligations. There's stuff going on, family. So take this minute, take this time to work on your body, to work on providing yourself with a moment of relaxation and of peace. Finish it up, family. Do what feels good. Maybe it's massaging your skull. Maybe it's the back of your ears. Maybe it's down here on your throat. You can use your thumb to gently press your jawline and relieve some pressure there. Ah, truly a moment of relief, satisfaction, and self care. Bring our hands to our hearts, bow our heads in Namaste. I appreciate you, I see you, and I thank you for spending this very important quality time in self-care with this coyote. <laughs> All right, family, let's finish it off. Finish it off. So we can continue on with the rest of our glorious, glorious, amazing day. <laughs> family, what plans for world domination do you have? What are you going to tackle today and what is going to make you shine bright? 
In addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, soon to be Dr. Dre, <laughs> I am also a life coach, a pastor of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. I forgot, family. I forgot um, to check in with my medical marijuana. Don't forget, family, I am medicated 100% of my waking hours. I no longer get a euphoric feeling. Um, the first thing I do in the morning, actually, is take one of my medical marijuana chocolates. Which I medicate with throughout the day, about every two and a half hours. I take about 30 milligrams of THC every two and a half hours. Again, I no longer get a euphoric feeling, but rather it helps me manage my depression, my anxiety, and keeps me from abducting breakfast. I'll be honest, family, when you live with crippling panic attacks, anxiety, and depression, and are a survivor of trauma and have PTSD like this coyote, sometimes when you're triggered, it can be as simple as being reminded of an incident, um, hearing the wrong word, hearing the wrong phrase, or having to do something um, like every time I have to do you and I'm work, it triggers my anxiety family because I was bullied there and made suicidal and had a false complaint filed against me. So it's a very traumatizing place. I can't wait to graduate and continue to shine bright for our New Mexico community. But family, don't forget, if you are also neurodivergent like this coyote, please remember we walk through the world slightly differently. So be kind to yourself and to each other. Help me, family. Help me learn how to decriminalize our biases, especially the war on drugs when it comes to medical marijuana. In a lot of communities, including my own, the Pueblo of Asleta, I can never work for them because I will never pass a drug test because I smoke medical marijuana. So I'm just saying, family, what opportunities are we cutting our community members from because of old biases? right about who and what we are because all of my global family are amazing superheroes who are here changing their communities so join me family let's change our minds change our biases and move forward with social justice equity um and humanizing change in mind family i'm also a pastor of kaiju's lodge house of spirituality cook race theory medical marijuana still working on services family but until then join us here for our prayer Gammy, at your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I am here, Cosmic Tricks Game. <laughs> Thank you for TV shows. <laughs> Not one, but two. <laughs> I am so funny, family. But Gammy, today I am riding that high of brand new opportunity, um, brand new projects, right? Family, do you remember that? The jazz, the excitement of starting something new, a new project, um, something new at work, a new job. This coyote is going to um make some change with my amazing family i can't wait so gammy thank you so much for those opportunities today our prayer is all about asking you to share that love so family think about that what opportunities are you embracing is it for work is it a house goal maybe it's a household goal <laughs> the love of my life and our, our household is run a, on a very tight schedule we do groceries we clean we do okay i don't do kitchen prep but i do dishes family so you know this kitchen prep um and we have a cycle it's a very tight schedule so maybe you have a goal about a household project that you've been working on whatever it is family let's grasp those new opportunities and continue to shine bright yeah me or my first example of warrior woman i miss you i love you <sighs> Send us some hope. Send us a courageous spirit as we continue to make change in this world. You're my first example of a warrior woman, Gammy. Send us some of that shine as we continue to be and create the change we need. <laughs> I love you, Gammy. May you rest in peace and watch over us. Papa, now my Papa family, he was the epitome of love and kindness. I loved him dearly. Now my Papa. He always made sure that we had a safe place. Maybe it was a snack. Maybe it was a place to hide from Gammy. If I was in trouble. <laughs> Who, me? In trouble? <laughs> Just kidding. So family and spirit of my papa, may you find those communities. May you find those people who are going to raise you up and lift you up when you need it. So you can continue to do the hard work as a community leader. Thank you, papa. Hope the cables get up there. Send us your blessings and guidance.
And to my great great grandpa, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a subtle public statesman, you wrangle with president, sir, and proved that indigenous voice was powerful. You got 28,000 acres of our land back, and you wrangle with presidents and dealt with policy. May we use your example as a guiding light as we continue to make change in the world. So Papa, ancestors, gammies, uncles, cousins, those we are adopted in our hearts and those we are related to by blood, everyone who's gone before us and taken too soon. We know all we have to do is open our mouths, open our minds, open our hearts, say hello and you will listen to us and guide us. May you all rest in peace and send us your blessings and guidance. <laughs> Today is Monday, family. This coyote is going to be doing my tour with my crew at Studio 519, launching one, but two new shows on public access television. Yes, it's been my dream. I mean, who doesn't dream of having their own TV show? <laughs> and this week, it's coming true, family. I'm making it happen. Thank you so much to my amazing friends and family who are helping out, volunteering their time, and making change happen in New Mexico. This coyote loves you. I'm off to catch trouble in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. If you want to check out a lesson, family, get a free lesson at my gym, this coyote will make sure that I'm there in class. Hit me up. Let's do this, family. I'm all about helping families and friends become more lethal because the more confident we are when we walk in the world, family, the more that we can get done. <laughs> Love you all. I'm to catch trouble somewhere else. <laughs> oh, huge, huge, huge shout out to my amazing indigenous warrior sis. Um, I am looking up her Instagram name right now, family, but Alice, she is an indigenous artist based here, right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, family. She actually is an educator, powerhouse, and amazing, um, amazing example of what is possible. So her Instagram family, I just found it. Hold on. <laughs> You're like, Dre, what's going on? I don't know, family. Just kidding, just kidding. Here it is, family. Desert Flower Woman underscore designs. Um, it is my amazing sis. She is an indigenous artist, Alice Hollow Horn. Um, she is Lakota Sinlagi. Um, and she has her own website, family. Check her out. Seriously, I'm gonna be tagging her. These are gorgeous. But you can get your own treasures at her website, family. Don't forget to support indigenous artists, local business owners, and everyone in our society, family. Optic has trouble somewhere else. See you later.